In attempts to supposedly put an end to war, the plan for the New World Order is to unite all the different militaries around the world into one supranational security force that will be directed based on the decisions of the globalist leaders. The beginning of this uh, global police could be seen with NATO or the UN peacekeepers, which are comprised of people from many nations and are deployed around the world by any nation state that is a partner. But more and more people are starting to become concerned about the rise of the robots. Agencies like DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, are working to make uh, military men and women virtually invincible. And the quest for the super soldier has led them to design exoskeleton suits, which give people wearing them super strength and speed. President Obama once joked that we're building Iron Man. But this is no science fiction fantasy. The Department of Defense has documents that were dra drafted in 1996, which detailed their plans to actually implant soldiers with neural interfaces into their brains and to use them on the civilian population as well. One document titled Information Operations, a new warfighting capability, outlines technology they hope to have in place by the year 2025 and reads, quote, The implanted brain chip performs two functions. First, it links the individual to the information integration center, creating a seamless interface between the user and the information resources. Uh, it goes on to say that, in essence, the chip relays the processed information from the IIC to the user, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. bunch of technical speak, but it basically says, and I'm, I'm quoting here, an implanted chip does not require the security measures to verify whether the right person is connected to the information integration center, whereas a, a helmet or sunglasses require additional time-consuming access control mechanisms to verify an individual's identity and level of control within the cyber situation. The document addressed the expected resistance to such devices, saying, quote, implanting things in people raises ethical and public relations issues. While these concerns may be founded on today's thinking, in the year 2025, they may not be as alarming. The civilian populace will likely accept any implanted chip that allows the military mem members to defend vital national interests. The final phase of this plan is to replace most human soldiers with Terminator-style artificially intelligent robots. This was just science fiction a few years ago, but recently has become a serious endeavor by the United States and militaries around the world. Robotic soldiers, whether in the form of an unmanned aerial vehicle, Talon tank-like robots, or android terminators, would follow orders without question, no matter how unethical or inhumane they were. Elon Musk, founder of and CEO of Tesla Motors and SpaceX, revealed in his authorized biography that he is concerned that Google's plan for artificially intelligent robotic armies may end up exterminating the human race if it gets out of control and perceives our species to be a threat to its existence. He says, quote, Please note that I'm normally super pro-technology, and I've never raised this issue until recent months. This is not a case of crying wolf about something I don't understand. He equated creating artificial intelligence with summoning a demon. Other leaders working in information technology and science have also recently expressed concerns. Stephen Hawking has warned it could be the biggest mistake in human history. Microsoft founder Bill Gates said he's not sure why more people aren't concerned. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, who once dismissed such fears as unfounded, has changed his mind due to the rapid advance of AI and is now warning that artificial intelligence could enslave the human race and treat us like pets. But I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist, aren't I? I warned about this 10 years ago in detail. There's an entire chapter in my book, The Resistance Manifesto, updated and expanded this topic in Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, Pick them up in paperback from Amazon.com 
or download them right now onto your tablet or e-reader. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists. And stay tuned. There's more videos coming soon.